Guardian, it's easy to make a scene by going to the Scenes page on the left-hand side, clicking Add Scene, giving that scene a name, and I'm going to set up a block mode scene, so I'm going to call this one Block Mode. And then down where the filters are, I want this to go from Allow Mode to Block Mode. So what that means is that all websites are going to be blocked except for what I allow in a list below. So over here to the right where it says Add Lists, we have some district quick lists already set up for you if you wanted to start with that as a basic. So I'm going to click on the Pensbury Block Mode Sites to Allow. And then I need to click the Add Lists button. And here if I click on this carrot, it lets you see all of the sites that we allow through when we're in blocked mode so that the students can get out to any of the educational sites that you think you may need. Down below, you can see there's tab management. And what this does is allows you to auto open a website. So for instance, if I wanted this to open up to the Pensbury website, I would type www.pensburysd.org and add tab. So now it would open up to the Pensbury School District website automatically. You can add whichever site you'd like, whether it's out to your online textbook or perhaps even out to your staff page. And then down below where it says maximum open tabs, you can leave this at no limit. However, if you'd like, you can set a number of limits for the students to get out to. Uh, we suggest that leaving at least three open so that students can get out to Clever, then maybe out to their online textbook or another resource, and then have links working from that resource. So once we have all of this set up, you need to go back to the top of the page and simply select Save Scene. And then here I have Block Mode on my Scenes page.